It's a big night of high school sports in our community. The News 8 Highlight Zone starts now. Evening everybody, thanks for stopping by. The weekend is here. The 8th ranked Badgers appear ready for a big road test. That's early tomorrow. Tonight, we need to show you the craziness out at State Volleyball. And your prep football playoffs on both sides of the river just went up a notch. GET is in new territory, folks. The Red Hawks trying to fly to level four for the first time in school history. St. Croix Central sent home top seed Osceola last Friday. Opening kickoff, GET's Ben Behan. On the return, Behan up the sideline. And there he goes, one man to beat, taken down. At the 28, that crowd is rocking early. A few plays later, Marcus Zimmerman takes the toss left. A lot of red, and that's six. Six nothing GET. First possession for St. Croix Central. Ryan Larson, one yard, take a 7-6 lead to the second half. Quarterback, Colin Nelson. Second quarter, I should say. Keeps it on the read option. He turns it up the sidelines. He's in for the score. The Panthers score 34 unanswered to blow this thing open. St. Croix Central by 20. An excellent season in Galesville ends at level three. Division seven, state title rematch from one year ago. Runner up Pepin Elma at the reigning champs in Bangor after a nice kick return. Bangor starts their drive from the 10. Drew Johnson there, eight nothing. Here we go later in the first. Elma Pepin's Caden Hockey, yards after the carry. That's his specialty, 16-7 Bangor. Second quarter, Bangor driving Johnson. Not gonna go in alone. 24-7 Bangor, one minute to go in the half. Hunter Ellenberg, counter, untouched. 38-14 at the break, 54-21. Bangor retains those bragging rights. Your state semifinal in D7, Bangor hosting Edgar. It's just about state tourney time for Minnesota prep football. Usually in Winona, that doesn't mean a whole lot. The Windhawks last tournament appearance, 87. Winona back in the Section 1 for a title game. It's Casson Manorville in white. First half, Winhawks come out like they want history. Dakota Matthews is there for the long grab, 7 0. And then more from Matthews in the flat. Give him the dive in the pylon score, 14 0. Winhawks later in the half. Let's run. Robert Warren's in. Winona takes a 24 6 lead at the break. Second half. Alex Francois, touchdown, 31-6, 44-13. It is done. Winona's in the 4A state tournament field. They draw St. Paul South next Friday at East Ridge. Section 1 AA, top seed Caledonia. Gets a pesky effort from Zambroda Mazeppa. Opening drive, Owen King, Andrew Gorgon, 10 yards, 7 nothing. First half, the story, the Warriors defense, Ezekiel Lach is hurting people. No Cougar first downs in the entire first half, then just before the break, King keeps it, three yard score. A little update for you out in Rochester, 27 nothing late in the fourth. It appears Cal's on their way to the, their ninth section title in 10 years. Nine man, is it Spring Grove's night? Grand Meadow with seven straight wins over the Lions, dating back to 2012. Opening play, not the start. Spring Grove fans needed. Christopher Bain, 65 yards, 7-0 Superlark. Second quarter, Spring Grove needs some offense. Go to Grindy! Chase Grindy, 36 yards, cuts the Lions deficit to 13. Later in the quarter, Alex Foles, Noah Elton, 26-14 game. That's as close as the Lions get tonight just before the half. Green Olsen, play action, 17 yards, 47-21. Grand Meadow sends Spring Grove Home. On the other side of the break, what is seen at State Volleyball? Aquinas, Seneca laying it all on the line in Green Bay. Going to hear from both teams coming up next. This afternoon, WIA State Volleyball welcomes our final two local team standings. The MVC representation goes to the Aquinas Blue Golds. The Conway and Company Crazies make the trip to Green Bay. Can they make enough noise to hang with Powerhouse? Howard's Grove. Aquinas struggles early, key block from Howard's Grove. Emily Bruction here early. The Tigers take the first set by 14. Blue goals calm down. Megan Mazzola dig. Danielle Dolan the set. Courtney Conway, the rest. They trail 23-21 set two, but Howard's Grove 
gets the next two to take the second set. Third set, the point of the match for Blue Goals fans. Dolan the pancake dig, then Shannon Pamerish there. What a save. Points alive. Shayna Nicolotti up top. All tied at 16s in set three. Aquinas unable to make that final push though late. 25-18 the final in set three. Three nothing. Howard's Grove heads to the finals with more in Aquinas. Here's News 8 Sports Director, Greg Wabernick. For Howard's Grove, it was their second state appearance over these past three seasons. They said heading into today's match, they were extremely calm. Meanwhile, Aquinas, in their first ever WIAA State Volleyball appearance, knew that they'd be battling nerves. Going out there and warming up, it, it's a lot to take in for any person. So I, you know, I kind of expected the balls in the net. Volleyball is a momentum sport. It really is. And once things kind of get rolling, it's hard to stop them. You know, you have timeouts, you have amazing kills and scrappy plays, but sometimes things just don't go your way. It was really important to us to not give up and not let them just dictate the whole game. So I think that was important for us to just keep fighting and tell them and show them that we weren't just going to let them have it. Finally making it here, like this has been the goal, especially for the seniors, the, or like our whole four years of high school. So making it here is just a huge accomplishment in itself. And we just weren't able to completely um, finish the goal, but it was great to make it here. The NBC champion Blue Golds finished the season 25 and five along with capturing their first ever sectional championship. Reporting from the Rush Center in Green Bay, Greg Wavernick, News 8 Sports. Paramish, Conaway, Dolan, what an effort. Earlier in the day, Division Four, Seneca facing three-time defending state champ Newman Catholic. Exciting first set, check out Seneca's Michelle Clark. Return to sender, set tied at nine. Then Olivia Salinas, ace. Seneca led 18-17, Newman comes back to win it. 25-20, Cardinals taking charge the rest of the way. Open the second set on a 10-0 run. They take it by 15. Mariah Whalen, the Badgers recruit, 23 kills, seven service aces, both match highs. Newman too much for Seneca, 3-0 the final. She is one of the top level players and we knew that coming in. We knew that we had to block her and get low on things. And in game one, it was working for us and we were going with everything we had. And then she started to get smarter with her hips. She was going down the line and she was going, like Adam said, everywhere we weren't. Great run for Seneca. Senior night Viterbo, no Natalie Guidil, the junior star out with an injury. Remember the V-Hawks win streak at 31 matches. First set, Dakota State leads 23-22. Sarah Biermeyer, she was great. We're all tied at 23 later. Viterbo up one. Missing Guidel's presence up front, tied again at 24. Here's Viterbo's second chance to close out set number one. The Trojans try to get tricky. No, 26-24 V-Hawks. Biermeyer leads this evening with 20 kills, 3-0. Viterbo remains unbeaten in conference. Play of the night, Winona football back to the state tourney for the first time since 87. That's awesome.